Recently, I had the privilege to make some menu boards for a local restaurant. A uh, great honor to be involved in this process and uh, grateful that they wanted to use a, a local guy to, to make some uh, menu boards for them. Basically, it's like a clipboard on one side to hold menu specials. And then the other side, the full menu will be held there, sort of like a binding using a silicone band. So I'm starting here. We decided on oak uh, for the material. So I'm starting here by ripping to width. And then once we have all the, the um, pieces ripped to width, then we'll go over to the miter saw and cross cut them to length. We're making 40 of these total. And so we'll get this all set here and batch through the, the length as well. At my miter station, I've got a, uh, a sliding stop block uh, attached to a, um, a T-track uh, that I'm using here uh, so that I can just batch these out pretty quickly. And then once these are all batched out at the miter saw, I'll have everything cut to width and length. And then we'll go to the drill press. At the drill press, what I'm going to do is uh, use a Forstner bit to make some holes that will turn into a notch for that silicone band on the edge of the menu board. And so again, I've got a stop block here so I can just batch everything out. Uh, that'll all be at the same location. And I have to make one of these at each end. Um, and then we'll turn it into a notch using the bandsaw. We'll just cut some slits to meet up with that Forstner bit hole. And then we'll have the, the notch that can hold that silicone band. So here we're at the bandsaw now. I'll also round over all the corners and edges at the bandsaw. And then once we have all these slits cut on um, all 40 of these, we'll go to the sanding station and make sure everything's good and smooth, all faces, all edges, rounding everything over. Uh, these will be in people's hands, so we want them to be good and smooth. And here we go at the standing station, probably the, the sanding station, I should, should say. <laughs> um, this is probably the most uh, tedious of all the steps. It always is, right, in the sanding. One at a time. We'll get them done. And then I'm going to go back to the drill press. Uh, I figured out exactly where my holes needed to be for my clipboard clip, which I'll use rivets to fasten. And so I need through holes. These, are, these will be uh, rivets that will go all the way through the, uh, the menu boards. This will give a good fastener uh, to attach those clipboard clips. And then uh, we're on to the logo. Uh, I purchased a CNC wood burner uh, that uh, you can create your images and then uh, the machine will uh, imprint those, uh, burn them into the, the thing with a laser. And then here's the finished product. You can see a clipboard clip on one side, the Leo's logo on the other. And then here with the silicone band, a uh, black silicone band to go with the wood burned logo. Came out pretty good. Great project. Uh, really excited to be involved.